Okay, we've decided that the next part is to put in the hard drives and the optical drives. Now we've got our motherboard in here and we've got the power supply in the case and the next thing we want to do is put in the hard drives and the optical drives over here and then that way because if we put in the CPUs and the cooling units they're going to be kind of tall they might get in the way as we try to get over into that area over there. So in order to do this we kind of had to take apart as you can see the front end of the case and open up room so we can make sure that we secure the optical drives and the hard drives. Brock? Um, actually, the, the front end comes apart really well. Uh, there's these, these little buttons up here, and when you push them down, the trays are, are able to slide out so you can pull the hard drives. The, can you show us, David? Yeah. So if I push down on these, the whole front just comes out, fan and all, with the grate cover. Go ahead and flip it around so they can see. So that's what it looks like, all protected and everything. Okay. And then, uh, same for the optical drive. Uh, you unfortunately do have to take the hard drive, this at least this hard drive tray out, to get to the, the buttons for the optical drive. But you can push that in and it allows you to take optical drives in and out. Now there are little brackets you have to add to the optical drive in order for it to go. And then it will just slide on these little rails, these little nubules in there. Okay. Uh, the, the hard drives... You can see we there are these plastic uh, housings here, and they're flexible. They just kind of bend around the drive, and then you snap them into place. They are fairly difficult to put on there. They do have room to add a, an additional screw for security. And then uh, once you stick them in the drive itself, it's, it's a really tight fit. So it's kind of a, a one-shot deal unless you... As you can see, it's having a hard time going in there. Okay. So these things stick out a little bit, so you really got to push them in there. Okay. And make sure that they don't kind of bend over and catch as you're sliding them in. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we put one in, and then we had a hard time getting it out, right? Yep. Okay. All right. So are we going to put in the optical drive now first and then the hard drives? Is that uh, Either way, that? since the, the optical drive is its own entity over here, we can put that in while... Uh, some of the other students are putting in the, the hard drives in the, in the hard drive tray, and then we'll just wait to put the last one in until we, are, we have everything secure. Okay, great. Dave and Daniel are putting the hard drives in into those housing units that have the fan on the bottom. And Brock? I'll show you on this one. We got this one in there pretty good. It should be, they should, once you pull, squeeze this part together, they should just release real easy and go right back in there. So it should be that nice easy. Fit. A nice fit. There's not really a whole lot of room for air. You can see on this one, and there you can see shiny, so it's not a, mm -hmm. it's not in there as far as it needs to be. So you really gotta work these in here. Okay. Make sure they're pushed in flush, otherwise it won't slide into the housing. Yep. Okay. Okay, so here's our optical drive. We stuck the brackets on it, and we're going to try to slide it in here in line with its column. I'm going to go okay. up or down. Looks like we might be catching right there. Okay, when we put these rails on, they didn't seat all the way down flush, so we had to apply some leverage using some uh, quick thinking here, and we just used the table. But now they're down there flush, so now these shouldn't catch on the sides, and it should just slip right in there. And then you should hear it click, and it should be in place. There you go. Beautiful. And then uh, the next step would be we'll throw the hard drive trays in there, and everything should look nice. Okay. David's now applying the, the little brackets. These ones are kind of tricky because they like to fall off. Let's someone reach in there and grab here. the... Let's put that one here. Yeah. And it fell off. Alright, let's see if I can hold that still again.
Okay, so with a little bit of working forwards and backwards, we got all four drives into this little unit right here. There's a nice fan on the front, which will pull air right through and cool off the hard drives. Okay, there's the, the fan cord right there, right? The fan connector power cord. All right, let's slide it in, Brock. We'll see if we can get it to work. All right. And those rails kind of have fallen off in the past, so it's been... Beautiful. Way to go, Brock. Are we catching on something? Yeah, it's not sitting in there square. You're on the lines right now. There he is. All right, perfect. And now we've got the empty one, which we can use later, which we'll just put in place. can adjust it since it's empty. And there it is. Okay, and we've got the DVD drive, the four hard drives in place, and now we're ready to move on to the CPUs and the memory cooling units.